AVB is really the sum of a collection of open source IEEE standards, which allow uncompressed digital audio and video to travel across standard network cables and specialized network switches. Since AVB is an open standard, there are no licensing fees associated with AVB. This will drive down the price of AVB products, especially as the technology matures and adoption increases. AVB uses a physical infrastructure which follows the same rules as standard Ethernet, with one notable exception. Specialized AVB network switches must be used. For an up-to-date list of certified AVB switches, please visit the AVNU Avenue Alliance website. The Avenue Alliance is an industry coalition which certifies AVB products for interoperability. Unlike Cobranet networks, with AVB, there's no need to worry about time-sensitive audio data being corrupted by bursts of other data, because the switches will automatically reserve and defend network bandwidth and perform traffic shaping. So, although you'll probably need to invest in new switches, AVB switches require the least amount of IT administration compared to any other Ethernet-based transport, especially Cobranet. The maximum input-output capacity per AVB device depends on the device. Just to give an example, AVB-enabled SoundWeb London devices are 64 by 64. These channels get subdivided into groups called streams. The number of channels per stream and the number of streams per device also depends on the device. In SoundWeb London devices, a stream contains anywhere from 1 to 32 channels each, and there can be up to 62 incoming streams and 64 outgoing streams per device. Unlike Cobranet, with AVB, there's no need to specify unicast or multicast streams. Any stream can have one or more receiving devices. Furthermore, an AVB stream with multiple receivers will only transmit to those receivers, and it will not needlessly broadcast across the entire network. This optimization is a significant improvement over Cobranet multicast, and it happens automatically with AVB. AVB latency is usually 2 milliseconds per transmission, although some devices do support lower latency settings. For example, AVB-enabled SoundWeb London and Crown DCI devices can be set anywhere from 2 milliseconds to 0.5 milliseconds. As with Cobranet, choosing a lower AVB latency setting comes at the expense of fewer allowed switch hops. Many AVB-enabled products have redundant ports. However, as of 2015, AVB does not yet have any official standards regarding redundancy, and manufacturers are free to implement failover behavior as they see fit. Therefore, you should consult individual product manuals to determine the behavior of the secondary port in relation to the primary. For more information on AVB, please visit this website. Next, let's talk about Dante.